Hi, my name is Morten Nielsen from the WASP team at DTU Wind Energy and I'm going to make an introduction to this wind farm assessment tool. And the, the purpose of this tool is to um, work with the, the site assessments which are defined in, in some of the ISC standards. And in the main safety standards then there's a uh, something called a site assessment where you check the wind conditions at the sites the extreme winds and shear and flow inclination angle and the turbulence uh, against the selected wind turbine class and uh, the tool can also do some uh, terrain assessments also for power performance measurements but here in this first demonstration I'm mainly going to talk about the user interface and uh, it's organized here. You have the file selection where you can, uh, you can, if you have a project, then you can store it on file and reopen it. And uh, I'm just going to reopen this project here. And then, then you can see that the turbine sites are organized in groups. And then here's some information about the wind turbine and uh, some other information. And it's uh, it's a little like in a WASP project, and you can select a, a turbine site by clicking here in the object hierarchy like this, or you can also click here in the in the main plot on these dots, which uh, indicates the positions of the turbines, and uh, you can uh, you can select different themes for this plot from this. Uh, uh, drop down menu here and uh, sometimes uh, some extra controls popping up like this is the wind speed and this is a conditional wind row so if I click here then it this is uh, the wind distribution uh, for for different wind speeds and uh, when you're new then uh, it's useful to have this legend here so these tells about the some of the icons used in the in the object hierarchy and uh, the also something in the main plot and you can adjust the the scale of of the small wind roses here and uh, you can also select to show wind roses for all the turbines and sometimes it's useful for instance to have the terrain behind uh, the, the turbines here if I then uh, press control on the keyboard and use the wheel of the mouse then I can zoom in and out of, of the view. Uh, then I'd like to say that up here we have some uh, extra tables and plots um, and they are arranged so some of them are for the selected site then there are other plots for the, the wind farm and uh, maybe you notice here, when I click here, different uh, 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 tables, then you get different options for, for different views. Um, then uh, also when you are new, uh, then it's useful to go into help here and say show hints, which means that when I place my cursor over here, then there's an explanation of, of this table. And uh, you can look here, there's a help file. I'll just show you a little bit how this is organized. I click here on this, then there's something about the user interface. This is where you can uh, look up uh, all these uh, views in the in the in the user interface, like all the tables and the plots. And then there's a guided tour which will take you through uh, uh, most of the features, and you can read about uh, the modeling how it's done, the wake modeling, and uh, about these IC standards. So I think this was all I wanted to say here in this first part of the demonstration.